Well, Sydney was the only city to see a fall in house prices in April. Melbourne was flat, Brisbane up 1.7%, combined capitals 0.3%, combined regionals up 1.4% and the national median 0.6%. But there was also a fall in Hobart in April, but solid gains in the other smaller capital cities. Darwin 0.9, Canberra 1.3, Adelaide 1.9 and Perth 1.1%. And don't feel too bad for Sydney homeowners. The fall so far in the median price is $6,111 from the peak, or 0.5%. But that's after a rise of $245,680. Also, the declines in Sydney house prices are all at the top end of the market. The bottom 25% of properties by value in Sydney are still going up. Here's a chart of the annual rate of national house price growth, and it's down from 22% to 16.7%, which is still about the highest rate of growth since the 1989 boom. There was a big fall on the New York stock market on Friday, and the Nasdaq is now down more than 20%, which means tech stocks there are officially in a bear market. But Asian markets were generally stronger today and the local markets split the difference, down 1.3%, with a strong gain by Qantas but falls by retailers, banks and CSL. On the commodity markets, Brent oil was down, tapas up, along with iron ore. Thermal coal was down quite a lot. Gold and nickel also down. And the Australian dollar continues to correct and is now testing 70 cents again. It's fallen 7% in a month, mainly because the US dollar has been surging on expectations of rapid fire rate hikes in the US. And tomorrow, of course, it's our turn. And that's finance. Thanks for watching. You can check out more finance news by clicking there. And don't forget to click subscribe down there to get all the latest updates from ABC News.